you can choose your friends, but not your family, so the saying goes. But what about your in-laws? Well, Dr. Leslie Austin has some advice on how to mend those occasional family feuds. Welcome. Uh, Thanks so much for being here with us today. Thank you. We have a couple of hours. Yeah, really. Let's sit down to tea and yeah, talk all day. Exactly. Well, at the top of our show, the wonderful warm-up woman here for our audience, James, was saying that, mm -hmm. that her mother-in-law said, oh, something about, like, we, we like larger women in sure. our family. Thanks like, a lot. Yeah. How do you deal with that right off the bat? Now, what do you say? Well, you know, you want to give somebody the credit. You want to take the high road. And they do care enough to say something about you. You say, I know you mean well, but Maybe if you think about what you said to me, it kind of hurt me a little bit. So thanks for the compliment, but maybe just think about what you say before you say it. And you Very always, gentle and respectful when you talk to people. You always kind of yeah. preach maybe saying something about more of the behavior of the action yes. and not saying yeah, something Yeah, when you about say this, I feel this. When you do this, I feel that. You know, has anybody here been on the big roller coaster ride here? In, in the park, you like know, the hall for one of these great ones here. Yeah. Dealing with your in-laws can be like that. It can be as scary as being on that roller coaster. Yeah. So you want to sit tight. You want to be the model for how you want people to behave. And especially, you want to show your kids how you want them to behave with troublesome people. So you don't want to attack your in-laws. Right. You want to say, when you do this, I feel this. It hurts me. Maybe we could try it this way. You want to speak respectfully, but set boundaries. So, Dr. Leslie, I mean, really, it's okay to say something. I think in so oh, many sure. relationships, you think, well, I don't want to bring it up, or maybe I'll just kind of let it settle and well, see if it can, gets better. Well, you can start off by saying, listen, this is awkward for me, and I don't want to hurt your feelings, but this really upsets me when you do that. Can mm -hmm. we talk about it? Because I like you. I want to get along with you. Mm -hmm. You're my husband or my wife's parent. You mm -hmm. know, it's important. We both love whoever it is. Right. We want to get along. At, at the top of the show, I said that I have a great relationship with my mother-in-law, yeah. with Roger's mom. So the whole audience is jealous And now. I'm so blessed. She's really a great woman. Right. I mean, there are always little things, but, but I think you have, I think I love what you say is yeah. kind of be the model of yeah. what you want that relationship to be. So we're right. very positive. There she is there, Mary Jane Depenty with her son, Roger, my husband. But w we keep open communication when the kids, anything's going on right. in their lives, we let them know what's going on so sure. that they don't feel excluded. Sure. We have pictures of her all over our house, uh -huh. as long as with my mother too so it's important See, people think taking the high road is weak or that you're letting bad behavior go no it's actually much stronger because when you stay clean nobody can gossip about you behind your mm -hmm. back they can't say oh she was so mean to me because you weren't but you set boundaries appropriately so it's a very strong strategy what if mother-in-laws just are too overbearing and, and yeah. we talked earlier yeah. it's usually centered around the kids, kids the grandkids right, right? Yeah. usually oh, yeah. the issues Big time. because maybe they're well, well I used to do this right? right and I used to do that why are you doing that so you how have you... to remember when a mother-in-law is criticizing what you're doing with your kids it's because she cares about her grandchildren mm -hmm. and she really wants them to grow up well because she thinks she did a good job so give her that credit you say Thank you for the advice, but John and I want to raise our kids our way just like you did yours. And I know you care about them. Thanks. I know you love them. And I promise I'll come to you when I need advice. And we don't want to bash mother-in-laws no. because once in a while there is a father-in-law or a oh, brother-in-law yes. or sister-in-law. Our poor men sometimes get very toughly treated by their fathers-in-law about what kind of men they are, how they're taking care of their family, are they earning enough money, are they responsible enough. And that can be very hard to deal with, too. Mm -hmm. And it can be a kind of macho festival there if you're not careful. That's right. All yeah. right. We know we have a question here yeah. in our office. Ms. Hey. Molly. Hey, you guys, this is from Alana on the message boards, and she says, how can you politely encourage your mother-in-law to back off when it comes to parent your parenting choices? She says, my mother-in-law is constantly critiquing my husband's and my methods. She says, I'm six months pregnant, and I want to tell her to put a lid on it. Ooh, what can right. she do, y'all? Mm. Well, again, you want to be polite, but you want to say, look, you did a great job raising your kids. I married one of them, mm -hmm. so you did a good job, but... We want to make our own parenting choices, so I appreciate your advice, but wait until I ask you for advice, and mm -hmm. just love your grandkids, and let us raise our kids our way. Great idea. And gently, great again, with respect. You don't want to rag at the person. And you said give that compliment. Sure. Like you did such a great job. Always give mm -hmm. credit, because then they can't fight you, because you're being nice to them, but you have to mean it. Mm -hmm. You can't fake it. So true. Find Thank something so true to say. Thank you so much for being with us. My we want pleasure. to let you know that immediately after our show, Dr. Leslie will be online and ready to chat with you about coping with your in-laws. So that is so generous Thank you. Of you. Thank you. Thank you. My pleasure. We really appreciate your time. All right, let's go over to Guy. All right, as you know, we are smack dab in the middle of the cold and flu season. But coming up next, we're going to show you how you can drop kick that cold in just a few easy steps. You're watching iVillage Live. <laughs>